Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen and Kate Flicks TV. So did you like that little intro? How fun was that? So today I'm here in the kitchen, I'm going to show you our fabulous new product called Whipping It Up and it really is whipping up a storm at the moment everybody is loving it now we released this product in Mar in may of this year and it's actually a sister product of the sugar and crumbs flavored icing sugars so sugar and crumbs i keep telling you every time i see you we're actually into our eighth year we make delicious flavored icing sugars and now we make delicious flavored whipping it up in seven flavors what's whipping it up well whipping it up is a Swiss meringue buttercream mix, it's a multi mix, you can make royal icing, you can make macarons, you can make biscuits with it, you can make pavlovas, um, oh you can make loads of things, can't even think at the moment, fluff, mousse, um, oh there's, lo there's loads and loads of things that you can actually make with it. So I'm going to make meringue kisses tonight for you, um, for you and I hope you're going to enjoy them. Um, we've got six regular flavours, we've got velvet vanilla, raspberry ripple, salted caramel strawberry milkshake lemon drizzle black cherry and then we do have a flavor of the month today i am going to use black cherry so let me just show you the bag this is the raspberry ripple one okay all the recipes are on our website the recipe website is just there they're all suitable for all diets apart from vegan so you can use this if you're nut free dairy free gluten free okay and um, they're all white in color so you can choose what color you want they're actually 500 gram bag so it's a nice big bag and um, the price is 4.99 so it's absolutely fantastic okay so let's start off so let's measure uh, 200 we're using this one because it's it's actually my favorite of favorite flavors so this is black cherry so let's get the scales on So we want 250 grams of the whipping up, which is half a bag. And do watch, because when you make most of the things, we don't use the whole bag. I have got the recipe for the Swiss meringue buttercream on the back for the whole bag, but you can half it. So you just half all the ingredients. Half the butter, half the water. So 250 grams of this. In there. Perfect. And also, congratulations to David and Paul getting married. How sneaky was that? So congratulations, guys. And thank you for inviting us back on Gateflix again. So hope you're enjoying married life. <laughs> had a great honeymoon. Not sure where you actually went, but I hope you had a good, a good time. So here we go. 250 grams of this into the mixer. So we're just going to pop it into a clean mixing bowl. This must be spotlessly clean. So you pop this in. You're going to have 100 mils of room temperature water. We're going to pop this back onto the mixer. You're using a whisk attachment, okay? And the whisk attachment must be spotlessly clean as well. Standard, not just for this mix, it's standard when you're making meringues anyhow. So let's drop this down. Let's turn it on slow. So turn it on slow first. Let me get rid of this. So let me show, well, this is just incorporated in a minute. Okay, so let me show you what we've been making. So did you see this? So I was playing with the whipping it up there with the meringues and I thought, oh, meringue kisses, meringue kisses, how boring. So I decided to write Cake Flicks TV and how cute is that? So, oh, just broke the letter there. So it's not ready to come off the paper yet. Oh, the F is, that's ready to come off. Is this ready to come off? Maybe I should not do it with one hand. So. Yep, the T is, the V is, so there we go. And then we wrote this. I like playing in the kitchen, as you all know. How cool is that? Carol, sugar and crumbs and a nice love heart. How lovely is that? So we've done that. And then, of course, the product is whipping it up. So there we go. And that's what we're going to do today, whipping it up. And then what we're going to make is some of these. So I don't know whether you'll be able to show for the, for, for the light here. And by the way, let me say hi to Simon, our cameraman. So let me just pop that on. Just turn it on. 
So can you see the um, Swiss Meringue, um, Swiss Meringue, can you see the uh, Meringue Kisses? Now I'm not sure how well you can see on the camera, but basically before these went in the oven, I blinged them up. Can you see them well enough there, Simon? So they've got gold sparkle on them and silver sparkle. So just those and these haven't. So I don't know how well you can see the shine on them. So just these here, all the front ones, and then these at the side and at the back haven't. So I think you can just sort of see the shape, the sign, can't you? Is that my piping bag there? Yeah. But they look really effective anyhow when you uh, see them in real life. They're great. So let me put those over there. Right, let's get the mixer on. So the mixer needs to go on for five to six minutes. And what we're going to do now is we're going to nip over for a break and then we're going to get ready to start piping. See you soon. we're back <laughs> did you enjoy your break we're back so we're actually nearly there now so this takes about five or six minutes to do and you'll see that it's all gone lovely light and foamy that's what you want okay so there we are turn it off and when you take it off your whisk I can take it off the camera there you go so there we go yep that's what we want. Right, so what are we gonna do? So first of all, I think we'll do a little bit of writing. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do a bit of piping flowers first. Get those on. Get those on. Piping bag. Yep. Then we'll get this. Tray that we need. Put this on the tray, and we've got the one, two, five Wilton tip. I'm just going to pop it over my hand. And before I do that, I want this and a couple of bits of just to show you to make some meringue um, flowers. That's all. So we'll do this first and get these in the oven. And the oven is on 100 fan. And um, do watch your oven. If it's an old enough oven, you may need to turn it up. And I think that's half gas, and I think it's 275 normal electric. So, just get my colour. So I'm just going to paint the colour up the seam of my bag. That's all. That's what we're going to do. Get the meringue, pop the meringue in. I'm going to do a couple of flowers. Normally, for meringue kisses, I would use big bags. Um, for this little bit of piping, I, I'm not going to. But um, if you're going to do lots of meringue kisses or rose swirls, use the big blue bags. But because we're just showing you a few things to do with this, we're using these small bags. go just put a little bit on there right there we go and we on the overhead Simon so 
so easy. It's a nice little flower, just put that there. The colour will start coming through in a minute. Your first one's always a white one. Maybe the second one's going to be a white one as well. Oh, there it is. It's just starting to come out. Nice little idea to do these like little flowers because you can just pop them on the side of your cake, put them on top of your cupcakes. And you just play with the nozzle. So here we go. You can just see the edge of the colour. I didn't use a thick brush, I used a thin brush. I think you want. It's entirely up to you. So let me just squeeze my bag down. Keep the pressure on the bag. Twist it. Oops, let's put a little bit of thing. They're pretty, aren't they? Aren't they pretty? You could just put them on top of a cupcake if you wanted to. Really, very easy. Right, so I've got six there. I'm going to whiz these straight into the oven. Can you see those there? So I'm going to whiz these straight into the oven. Oh, hey, I've got Karen. Should I put them in the oven for me? Well done, Karen. Yes, so Simon and Karen are in the kitchen. So Karen has just bobbed up there. She's doing a few little jobs down the other end of the kitchen for me. So uh, let me get that pin. So lots of you have used the whipping it up. You absolutely love it. It's a great product. So let's do a little bit of writing with it and some meringue kisses and some rose swirls. So here we go. So we've got this one. So I'm just going to use a silicone mat here. Um, silicone mat, put a bit of greaseproof paper over the top and then let's fill up the piping bag again. And we'll paint the piping bag again. So this has got a 1M nozzle in it. So I'm just going to paint it different colours. So I'm just going to stripe it up the bag. Feels really weird being all quiet in here, doesn't it, Simon? Hey, Karen's on her best behaviour as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. So I'm just striping it. Sorry, I've gone over there. I'm not under the camera. So, uh, So I put quite a lot of stripes. Normally you wouldn't put this many stripes in, but you know what, let's go for it. Mm. Let's go for it. Some more whipping it up in. So this really should put in a big blue piping bag. Or a big pink piping bag, but a piping bag. And then they need to go in the oven for 45 minutes. Bring them out to cool. Let me just do this. And you take, you don't leave these in the oven. You actually take them out of the oven. Put them on a cooling rack. So let's see what we're going to do here now. So let's do some rose swirls. So these again, they look nice on your cupcakes. Just do some nice rose swirls. We've got multi colours in here. You can see the pink coming out now. And they look so pretty. The kids love these. You can make little tiny ones. You can make big ones. Ooh, that big one there. Ooh, I quite like these colours. I think the kids will go wild when they see these colours, won't they? So let's just carry on. So I've used lilac, pink and yellow, put several stripes up, 
So just nice little rose swirls. And then what we'll do is, I'll put another one here. And then we'll just do some bobs. Let me just take out what's there. Yeah, there we go. Let's get rid of that one. And another tray. And Karen's going to come running back again to get this off me. Don't they look pretty then? What do you think, Simon? You, you go, can't yeah. see them, can you, Karen? Yeah. So let me just put them on there. There we go, love. Don't they look pretty? Oh, they're stunning. Yay. Great, okay, so another mat. Let's do a bit of writing then, shall we? So the nozzle I used for this one was... Um, oh, there it is there. So what number did I use? I'm using a Wilton 10. So we'll do exactly the same again. Same again, we'll paint it. But this one I think we'll just do in two colours. So just wash my brush. In fact, I need to put a little bit more pink gel in there, just one second. Just have a little paint tray, put the gel in. Just have a little bit of water there, just so you can wash your brush in. And also just to loosen the gel down slightly. You don't want to loosen it too much, just a little bit. I tell you, it's like Meringue City in here. You want to see how many meringues there is in here? It's a bit crazy, isn't it? So we'll just get the line. In fact, you know what? Forget the less is more. Let's do, let's go a bit wild. You devil you. Eh? Oh, I know I'm a devil, aren't I? Yeah, absolutely. So there we are. I'll show you what we've done. We've just painted, just a normal little paintbrush. There we go. So paintbrush. I'm going to put the rang in again. I like to use a metal spoon, but it only got a nice big metal spoon at the end of our mix. And if you want to ask any questions, I'll go back on the feed afterwards, have a look what you've got to say and I'll answer everything for you. So you can buy everything from our website, which is sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. We do currently only at the moment ship to uh, the UK. We can ship out of the UK, but you will need to contact us by our contact page. So what should we write then? What should we write? Shall I write Carol of Simon or Carol of John? <laughs> or Carol loves Karen. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this like is the number 10. I know. So let's just get the colour going out. Okay. Right. So let me just do, uh, I'll just do, uh, get this colour coming out first. Oh, quite like that. So all I'm going to do is just write Carol. We'll do it smaller. I'm going to write it as one word. Yeah. Or you could write in individual letters. Just really easy to bite. I'm actually quite pleased that I've actually put all those colours in. Forget the less is more, girls. Forget the less is more. <laughs> and then we've got Karen. Simon, shall we put your name in writing, love? Go on. Go on. If you must. Should be nice. I see if I know how to spell it. There you are. <laughs> see, you just play, can't you? They're so good. What I will say to you, though, is when they come out of the oven, make sure you leave them to dry, okay? And when you come to peel them off the paper, 
just sort of slip something underneath them to peel them off because I've used a thin nozzle so they're really really easy to break I'd probably go a bit wider yeah so I'm just going to carry on and do some meringue kisses oh I really like those colors so just fill in all your spaces with meringue kisses And do some little ones. Just use it all up. Fill up your whole board. Squash them in anywhere. The little ones are great for like little sprinkle type of things. Isn't that nice? You can make your own little meringue tops. And they're great for um, an eaten mess. So you could just pop them in there. Kids love them. My grandchildren go mad for them when I take them and we take them into work as well and when we take them into work the lads are I'm not actually not sure whether the kids get them or not are you Karen they go a bit mad don't they yeah I think the, the warehouse lads absolutely adore them mm -hmm. so there we are, go we're nearly done may as well use it all up we don't want to waste any and that colors come all the way through how cool is that like that and this is all from 250 grams so you get loads and i've not even cleaned the bowl out properly really so that's going to go. well actually i'm not sure whether it's going to go in the bin or whether i'm going to eat it so it's um got flavor it's got egg white in it so it's got egg white in it and it's absolutely safe it's pasteurized um dried powdered egg white so if you're pregnant you can eat it there you go right let's get that on the um tray just hang on a second So rather than keep buying um, meringue mats, if you can see my little trick there, uh, grease proof paper on the top, and then that there gives me my guide. This mat's absolutely brilliant because it's double sided if you want to make big ones. Uh, small ones for there, just give you helps, give you a little bit of a guide. Right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bling bling. So we've got extreme gold, you know, a bit of a one for sparkle. So we're just going to bling these up and see what they look like when they come out. And this goes forever. There's 10 grams in it, it goes absolutely ever. And you can use it to paint with as well. Right. There you go Karen in the oven 45 minutes so what we're going to do now is we're going to pop over for another little break while everything goes in the oven because I'm sure you don't want to sit here and wait for 45 minutes and for them to cool and as soon as they're cool we're going to come back and see you and show you again so go and enjoy the break see you soon every house needs a strong foundation I've teamed up with my former college tutor, Cecilia Young, to bring you over 25 years worth of knowledge and experience packed into this fantastic programme. Within these eight individually assessed modules, we've covered the fundamental building blocks required to take your cake decorating skills to the next level. That's not all. Each programme is accredited by FDQ, a leading UK organisation for the food industry. We look forward to welcoming you on the Cakeflix Master Programme. So hi 
everyone, I am back. So look at these, aren't these great? Let me just turn around so they've got them the right way. Look at that, Simon. Brilliant. Hey, they're in lights, so they're blinging your name, isn't it? So here we go, so let's just go to the overhead. So these are red hot out of the oven. The first ones are actually cooled down. These are red hot out of the oven, but how lovely are these? I don't know, can you see the shine on them, Simon? They're, they're glowing glitter. gold. Pardon? Aren't they glowing gold? Yeah, they're gold, yeah. So can you see them, everybody? Don't they look fabulous, them? Um, yeah? And aren't the colours lovely? I think it's like, um, that reminds me of like an Indian summer type colours, aren't they? Aren't they fabulous? So this is our Whipping It Up mix. So let's just uh, show you what we've been doing then. So I hope you've enjoyed today's live. Um, so all we've done is made some rose swirls with these. I haven't the colours come out, see? I always say less is more. And I went, oh no, let's put a little bit more in. But don't they look lovely? So these would be great on top of your cupcakes, on top of your cake, down the side of your cake. And just do them in different sizes, look. So I haven't got a cake to decorate for you, but look, you can just put them in little clusters. That's when they first came out, the first colour come out, so only just one colour come out. And then as you go along, more and more colour comes out. It's a bit bright that, isn't it, the white? And then look how lovely they are. Look at that, that one's really pretty. Really like that. So we've got those colours there. And then, um, so then we've got the little flowers. So we've got the little flowers. So these now, these are lovely. So you just take them off. Can you hear them? Yep. Take them off. And then what you could do with these is, get your pearls. I wish I'd put a bit more pink on really. I was a bit mingy with the pink, wasn't I? So I wish I'd put a little bit more on. That was a white one anyhow. So let's the glue and let's get some of these lovely pearls here. Let's do a blue. What else have we got here? We've got a gold. Just bling them up a bit. We've got to have a bit of bling, haven't we? Just put a little bit of glue in here. One of those in. Oops. Drop another one in. Let's get the gold. Just that easy, isn't it? Just something different to do. Let's just do, let's get a nice little display dip plate. So Sam, what dish should we have? A stand over there, should we have? Um, pass us that nice pink one. Please. Put those there. Yep, that's great. Karen's gone home. <laughs> Lucky girl, we're still here, don't you worry, muddling on. So let's just pop these on here so that you can see them. So we'll put a couple of those on there. Little clusters. some of these on this is red hot let's see if these are ready to peel off yet oh yeah calm down right let's just get it on there that one's come loose and your name survived Simon oh that's hey that's how cool is that so that's that looks really pretty that doesn't it yeah Carol Carol and Karen and Simon so let's just do a couple of these so aren't they lovely? I don't know whether you can really see the shine. Yeah, just about. Can you? They're so lovely. They look really pretty. Everybody will go mad for them. It's such a simple idea, isn't it? And you know what I'm like. I like being simple. And like these little things here. Let me put these on my hand. This is how small these are, look. 
And these are great for like little desserts. You just make your own. I buy these normally. So, well, I don't know. I usually can only get them in white. So you just buy them as you like little dessert toppings. But look, make your own. How easy and pretty and colour them up to any colour theme you want. How small you want them as well. So how cool is that? Yeah, have a look. Great, isn't it? So let's put those there. Let's put a few of these on. And these are the black cherry flavour. So we've got to taste one, haven't we? So I have to taste one, don't I? Do you want to taste one, Simon? <laughs> I'll give one a go, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll give one a go. I'll give one a go. Absolutely, why not? Oh, the tiny one. You didn't yeah. go for a big one? Not go a for a tiny one. So there's the letters there. Let me just put the letters on the board. So we've got Carol. And these are nice. Now these are delicate, so don't be throwing these around. You do need to be careful with them. Okay, but you could glue them onto the side of the cake. You could glue them onto your board, couldn't you? Make sure they are dry before you take them off. Very important. I took the others off before they were dry and then they cracked. So look, they're cooked underneath. That nice colour underneath, can you see that? Yeah. So got Simon there. Do I spell Simon right? Yeah. Yeah. How, how else would you spell it? Oh, I'm just checking. When I'm, when I'm, when I'm believe it or not, I do get a bit of stress here. <laughs> <laughs> Under pressure. <laughs> there you go and then we've got a nice kiss there how cool is that look at that that looks nice that on the pink board doesn't it so uh, let me just see there's that all over there so I think that looks quite nice so that's us today so then I'll just go back and show you these what we've been doing and then these have got silver on these some of them have got gold on some have got silver they've got a lovely lovely shine on them so I hope that you've really enjoyed today's uh, Kate Flicks Live and lots of love from Simon, Carol and Karen. I forgot I was the boss I should have put my name first. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you've really enjoyed Kate Flicks. I hope you've learned um, another thing about our amazing products. There's a multi-mix product. That's what we brought it out for. We actually brought it out to make royal icing, pavlovas and meringues. That's what it was for really. And then we realised we could make all these other super things with it. So you couldn't get anything better. It's a great sister product to our already delicious flavoured icing sugars we've got seven flavours six that will stay all the time and then we'll always keep bringing out the random new flavours for you all to try and then as we get more we've just done coconut and it's all gone the coconut it flew out and everybody's going to make more coconut but we want to get out some more flavours first see how they go and then we'll start producing those as well so I do want to say a big thank you to David and Paul for having us here on their channel today big thank you to Simon Thank you, Carol. Yeah, lovely working with you, Simon. Can't say thank you to Karen because she's gone now. But more importantly, a massive thank you to you guys for watching me. And I really do hope that you've enjoyed the live. And I hope you go off and make lots of lovely things with your meringue kisses. And if you are going to do writing with them, I've used the 10 round. But the bigger ones don't break so easy. So if you use the bigger rounds, they're much better. These are quite delicate. And definitely wait till they are completely cooled down and dry before you take them off the paper it only took a few minutes i only just took those out the oven so a few minutes just make sure they're done and we will see you in a couple of weeks on our next cake cake flicks live otherwise pop over to our own page uh, which is sugar and crumbs with nifty nozzles and you'll see us there every mondays uh, monday mornings monday nights thursday nights and friday mornings so we'll see you there bye